moment you talk about writing, all parents are very worried. They want the handwriting to be good and at the same time the entire process of writing to be easy for their kids. It's very important to understand that writing is a two-step process. First, the child needs to understand how the letters are formed and secondly, then actually go about writing the letters. So to understand the formation of letters, the child needs to understand the concept of standing line, sleeping line, curves, etc. which are normally catered using scissor cutting practices or pre-writing skills. And then you actually go to the formation of the letters. So in today's video, I'm going to cater to some fun and easy techniques that you can actually start with the whole beginning process of writing to make it fun, easy and stress-free for your child. So let's dive right into the video. So talking about the first skill and the very famous Montessori based uh, pre-writing skill or writing skill is using your so salt or sugar tray so basically you take any flat container and you fill it with any kind of filler so sugar um, uh, salt works best in this uh, uh, scenario and taking some simple index cards i have written the letter so depending upon what kind of a letter uppercase or lowercase you want to practice with your child you write that and all you need to give is your child a stick you can give a pen or a pencil and the child has to replicate the letter so using this the child will actually understand the formation of the letters so this is one of my favorite activities because it's very tactile so all you need is a blackboard all right and then you need chalk so using the chalk what i have done is made a uh, written different letters both capital and uppercase so either using the finger the child simply runs the finger over the letters or a better way to do so is you take a beaker of water and a paintbrush the child dips the paintbrush in the water and runs it over the letters this way the child again understands the formation of the letters. Extremely simple but serves the purpose. So this is one way and of course every child loves to play with water. Now once the child understands the actual formation of the letters, it becomes very important that the child knows how to form them. So for my beginner writers, what do I do is on a plain sheet of paper using a highlighter, I make again a combination of uppercase letters and lowercase letters. The reason why I do this is basically to give a skeleton on which the child will be writing the letter. So this actually gives a child a clue of how to form the letters. Now for me, it is not important that the lines have to be absolutely straight or the curves have to be absolutely correct. For me, it is more important that the child follows my cue and makes the letter. So in this case, even if there is a little bit of movement, it is fine. What is basically important is that the child follows and makes the lines on the highlighted portion. So this is an extremely easy way to get your beginner writers to actually form the letters. Now there are many commercially available products in the market and EduEdge has one of the such kind of stencils with which the child can practice the formation of the letters. All the child has to do is basically run the uh, stick along the uh, these sections where the letters are formed. What you can do is you can use Play-Doh. I'm sure every child loves Play-Doh. So you can take Play-Doh and make the shape and ask the child to insert it in these crevices. So what happens is using this method, the child again has to really work on the formation of the letters so you are basically again catering to the formation of the letters and also catering to the sensory needs of the child once your child is comfortable with all the earlier methods that i have shown you before you actually go to forming the letters independently now instead of using the tracing of dots method what i like to do is to give minimum number of dots for the letter to be formed. 
This way, I know that the child is logically thinking of how to connect the dots in a way that the letter is formed. For example, if I give three dots to the child, a letter B, D and T can also be formed. So now the child has to actually logically think, how do I connect these three dots so that it's going to look like a B or connect the three dots of how it's going to look like a T. Same way, four dots can form a Z and also a U. Six dots can form a M. It can also form a W. So in this way, the child actually logically thinks of the formation of the letters. So for example, the child will go from connecting the first dot to the second dot to the third dot to form the letter T. Same way for Z, you do a sleeping line, slanting line, sleeping line. For the letter D, for the first two dots, you form a C, standing line down and a tail. For letter M, we go up the mountain, over the mountain, down the mountain without lifting the pen, up the mountain, over the mountain, down. So this way you teach the formation of the letters. If you are interested in actual formation of the letters using the method that I have just shown, do comment in the comment section below and I will upload the video. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and also the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. Happy learning!